Thanos is one of the most powerful villains in all of comic books, and one of the most popular. Since his first appearance in Iron Man number 55 back in 1973, he's terrorized Marvel's heroes in ways that very few villains can claim to have done. Known as the Mad Titan, having been born on Saturn's moon of the same name, he is renowned for having an obsession with both the concept of death and the female character who embodies that very concept of death in the Marvel Universe, but there's certainly more to him than that. I'm Ben from What Culture, and here are 10 things you didn't know about Thanos. Number 10. He has a subconscious desire to lose. Thanos has gained full-on omnipotence no less than three times in the Marvel Universe. This essentially means that he was by far the most powerful being in existence. He was unkillable, unharmable, could use any superpower imaginable to infinite levels, and make anything happen with a single thought and he was defeated every time. But why was this? Well, it's because apparently he secretly wanted to lose, and the reason for that is because he deems himself unworthy to be the supreme ruler of the universe. He's actually quite humble deep down and has, on a couple of occasions, attempted to live the simple life, becoming a farmer in one of those instances. Number 9. His father and grandfather created Drax to kill him. While driving through a desert with his wife and daughter, real estate agent Arthur Douglas's car was attacked by a spaceship piloted by the mad titan Thanos because he thought the humans had seen him. As a result, believing that Thanos had gone too far, his father Mentor and his grandfather Kronos imbued the spirit of Douglas in a clay body with a very clear and sole mission. The task of killing Thanos. The being created as a result would go on to be known as Drax the Destroyer. Of course, he's only succeeded once in his mission, while dying many times himself in the process, but it says something about Thanos when two people who should be very close to him wanted him dead. Number 8. He was originally based on Metron, not Darkseid. Darkseid fans will have you believe that Thanos is a direct rip-off of the Apocalyptean Superman villain. While Thanos was directly influenced by a DC character, the fact is that the character in question wasn't Darkseid, it was actually Metron. Metron is a cosmic villain, just like Thanos is, who sits on a galactic throne known as the Mobius Chair in this case, just like Thanos does. He has a number of almost godlike powers, just like Thanos does, which actually vary dramatically between his appearances, but they are generally energy-based, as many of Thanos's are, and are also augmented by technology, just like Thanos's are. So there. Number 7. He has a bunch of clones based on other characters. Thanos, as it turns out, is mad keen on clones. He not only has basic, boring ones to scout out the power of foes before he faces them himself, but he also has a load of clones that were created by mixing his own DNA with that of his most powerful foes and allies. And the most powerful of them was undoubtedly Omega, a clone of Thanos merged with the DNA of Galactus himself. Others included X, using the DNA of Charles Xavier, Mystic, using the DNA of Doctor Strange, Armor, using the DNA of Iron Man, and Warrior, using the DNA of Gladiator. Number 6. His power set is frightening. Thanos is essentially Titan's equivalent of one of Earth's mutants, and as a result, he has a load of powers. Physically, he is a complete beast, possessing superhuman strength even greater than that of the likes of Hulk and Thor. He is also durable enough to completely shrug off all physical attacks. He's very quick, not necessarily in terms of his travel speed, but in terms of his reflexes. He also possesses a plethora of esoteric powers and abilities such as telepathy, teleportation, powerful energy blasts, and the ability to manipulate various types of energies and matter transmutation. On top of that, thanks to the fact that he's a genius, Thanos often goes after items that would heighten his power, such as the Cosmic Cube, the Infinity Gauntlet, and the Heart of the Universe. Number 5. He was born with Deviant Syndrome The people of Titan aren't, by default, anywhere near as strong, durable, or powerful as Thanos, and that's because he was born with a genetic condition known as the Deviant Syndrome. As well as making him superhumanly strong and tough and granting him a plethora of powers, it also rendered him a less than attractive baby. Look at him. Awful. Awful, ugly bastard child. Look at you. Ugh. Number 4. His brother is a human-looking douchebag sex offender. Yep. Thanos might be a megalomaniacal mass murderer with a thirst for power and an obsession with death, but even he must be ashamed of his brother. Star Fox, as he is known, is a bit of a dickhead, and for want of a better and more appropriate term, is a little bit… rapey. 
He spends most of his time looking for women, and given that his main superpower is a pheromone that makes people feel pleasure and makes them more attracted to him, this often ends in a morally deficient manner. He also has superhuman physical abilities as well as the ability to fly and near immortality, but the fact is that his main power is essentially the ability to trick women into bed. Number 3. He was arrested by ordinary cops. In the same issue that Thanos was seen flying around in a helicopter, this outrageous moment also occurred. When Thanos tried to steal the Cosmic Cube, Hellcat and Spider-Man got to work to prevent him from doing so. Hellcat kicked the powerful item out of the Mad Titan's hand, and it fell into an alley where it was found by a small child, and when Thanos tried to retrieve the device, he was stopped by Spider-Man and Hellcat. The police were called, they arrived on the scene, and Thanos was arrested and was sent to normal Earth human jail, which I'm sure ended really well. Number 2. He was defeated by Squirrel Girl the vicious, murderous, insanely powerful, seemingly unbeatable, and sometimes omnipotent Thanos was once defeated by Squirrel Girl. That's right, the mutant known as Doreen Green, whose mutation gives her squirrel-like powers and the ability to control ordinary squirrels, genuinely defeated the Mad Titan in 2005's GL Xmas Special No. 1. Now, Thanos is powerful enough to begin with, so it would have been an impressive feat to defeat him on a normal day, but Thanos was actually empowered by the life force of an entire planet at the time. It's no wonder that Squirrel Girl has earned aliases like the Anti-Life and the Slayer of All That Breathes. Look at her. God, kill, she'll kill us all. She will. Number 1. He celebrates Christmas and bought Gamora presents. Aw, Thanos celebrates Christmas, or at least he has in the past. In spite of the fact that he's killed most of his many children, he at least seemed intent on giving Gamora some kind of worthwhile upbringing, and that included getting a Christmas tree and giving her presents during the festive period. Quite how Thanos got his hands on a Christmas tree, or why he would know anything about the concept of Christmas in the first place, is beyond the knowledge of us stupid humans, but it's certainly an interesting little factoid about someone who is generally known as a death-obsessed mass murderer, and it's quite nice, really. And that's our list. Make sure you subscribe to the What Culture Comics YouTube channel for more lists like this, and don't forget to visit whatculture.com for daily news and articles. I'm Ben from What Culture, and thanks for watching. <laughs>